Why would anyone want to teach English? All the facets of English literature and English language make up a vital part of the Northern Ireland curriculum from nursery right through to Key Stage 4 and I would argue beyond. They are therefore a vital part of teaching and learning within any school today. Having a sound grasp of the English language is integral to the long-term prospects of pupils who you will teach and their success throughout and beyond school. Through teaching English effectively and modelling enthusiasm for this vital subject, you enable pupils to improve their ability to express themselves both verbally and in written form. Through the effective study of English literature, you can help young people to become critical thinkers through intricate explorations of modern and classic works. In short, English has the power to change lives. Joseph Addison, the 15th century English writer, once said, Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. All of our post-primary B.Ed. students who choose to study English as their subsidiary subject with us at Stranmillis University College will be prepared to teach this subject to GCSE through the use of two specific courses within the B.Ed. programme in years one and two. The first course is Literature and Social Context, where with Dr Sharon Jones and myself we take you on an in-depth look at literature in the form of poetry, prose and drama. You will explore a collection of Irish poets, most notably one of our own, Seamus Heaney. We will also study a variety of interesting novels which will range from Key Stage 2 and are of specific value when going into schools for placement. The novels include classics such as The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit by Judith Kerr, the iconic work of Harper Lee to Kill a Mockingbird and the gritty novel Cal set in the Northern Ireland Troubles of the 1980s. Then in an effort to bring to the fore new writing, we look at the work of Sarah Crossan, the fifth Irish children's laureate, and her prize-winning verse novel The Weight of Water which charts the experiences of a teenage refugee settling in the UK. Finally, in relation to drama, we study O'Casey's classic Juno and the Peacock and Shakespeare's tragic comedy The Merchant of Venice. Within this course, we have also just introduced a practical drama element led by Dr Andrew Brown to enable our English literature students to have expertise in the teaching of drama alongside the literature elements to the course, again to develop expertise and breadth of experience for the classroom. We have specifically chosen powerful pieces of literature which we know are exciting, interesting and valuable to study from the perspective of being a student of literature to develop skills of critical analysis as well as enhancing expertise as a teacher of English. Our second course connected to the teaching of English is our subject application course which again is taken in years one and two. Through this course we explore how to effectively teach language and literacy within Key Stage 2, English and Media Studies in Key Stage 3 and GCSE English Language and English Literature at Key Stage 4. We look at effective pedagogy in regard to the teaching of English, we learn from experienced practitioners of all key stages and engage with outside agencies such as Fighting Words Northern Ireland in helping to develop our English teachers as writers and to develop overall expertise as an English classroom practitioner. As teachers of English you will lead children beyond those initial steps of learning to read and take up this baton in engaging and enthusing future generations of young people to develop further their communication skills and in doing so grasp the world of opportunities that effective communication opens. Students who have taken this course previously have commented on the course having a good variety of texts, both poems and novels, and that these were beneficial for use and placement. They have also commented on the classes being action-packed with content, with detailed and clear handouts. Others have said how the classes have helped them to hone their skills of writing high-level essays, and finally that tutors were helpful and gave useful advice. As you consider your future studies, 
we would love to welcome you to Stranmellis University College to the English department to continue your journey of being the best teacher of English that you can be and in turn impact future generations of learners to achieve their potential in life. I will leave the last word today to a prolific and unique children's writer, Dr Seuss, who wisely said, the more that you read, the more things you will know, the more that you learn, the more places you'll go. My name is Brooke McKee and I'm a year two student at Stramillis. I study the Bachelor of Education degree with Business and Enterprise. When I picked English as a subsidiary subject, I was the only one within my business class that decided to do so. This scared me as it meant having to make new friends all over again within my second subject. Looking back, this was not a fear I should have had. The range of opportunities to work in groups and pairs allowed me to fit right in and make friendships outside my main subject. From the word go, English became one of my favourite two-hour sessions of the week at Stramillis. The lectures are extremely organised and always make sure lessons are interactive. Both Diane and Sharon are approachable and offer advice whenever you need it. Their email inbox is always open if we ever need anything. They have helped me develop my knowledge on a range of different texts such as poetry, prose and drama and have taught me how to teach them effectively in the classroom. My name is Alan Gordon and I'm a second year student at Stramillis. I study the Bachelor of Education post-primary degree with Religious Studies my main subject. I did English at A-level and really enjoyed it so choosing English as my subsidiary subject was an obvious choice for me. At the start of the year I was worried that the workload would be a lot and that I would not enjoy the text that we were given but after a few lectures it was obvious that Diane and Sharon are always here to help and we had such a wide choice of texts to choosing it wouldn't only be interesting but also useful in the classroom. All the classes and resources we are given are so valuable as well as being beneficial for school-based work. Our tutors could not be more willing to give advice and guidance no matter what concerns or queries we might have. Something I really enjoy about English is the guest speakers we hear from throughout the year who are serving practitioners as well as organisations who come in to work with us like the Fighting Words Workshop and Book Trust NI. Last year I really enjoyed our reading hub where we prepared a carousel of interactive and engaging literary activities for children and we were able to deliver these to classes who visited our campus. This also meant we had first hand experience of teaching literacy before placement. I would definitely recommend English as a subsidiary subject for anyone. I've also found it's really helped me with my main subject which is RE as our literacy skills are always being developed. Hi, I'm Rashi and I'm doing a post-primary B.Ed. here at Stramillis. My main subject is business studies and discovering that I could choose English as a subsidiary subject was amazing as I have always had a love of languages. So far, the English course has been wide and varied. We have looked at classic texts such as The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and more contemporary texts like Sarah Crossan's Weight of Water. These texts are perfect for Key Stage 2 children. This year we looked at Northern Irish Poetry by Seamus Heaney and Michael Longley as well as Sinead Morrissey and Kieran Carson and we have read Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. In addition, we have subject application classes. These consolidate the course with practical skills for use in the classroom. We have been exploring the Northern Ireland curriculum. We have had guest speakers including Book Trust NI, Fighting Words NI and lots more. All of these guest speakers have imparted some of the ways that they engage their pupils and it has really helped me to reflect on the kind of teacher I would like to be. Studying English as my sub subsidiary subject has been nothing short of inspiring so far. I am really looking forward to the rest of this course. The English lectures will go above and beyond to offer and give you access to both knowledge and practical skills that you need in terms of becoming the best teacher that you can be. Finally, there is an overwhelming sense of community here at Stramillis and the lecturers will go out of their way to ensure that you succeed in your journey to becoming a qualified teacher.